Friday, June 23rd, observed as a national day of mourning for Jamaica's children who have been victims of violence and abuse. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen, who read and signed the proclamation, said the day symbolizes a pledge to do all that is necessary to get rid of the scourge from Jamaica. This is not merely a campaign we are launching. It is a pledge to protect, to care, and above all, to love the innocence that makes our homes wholesome. Although we have lost these precious children, we celebrate their lives and are thankful for the short years we were privileged to have them. The gravity of this current situation can be quite somber, yet there is immense hope. Prime Minister Andrew Holness endorsed the proclamation of the National Day of Mourning, and he says it's a meaningful outward demonstration of the society's thoughts on violence against children and should spur citizens to action. When we come together in a collective process of mourning, not just to reflect and pay respect on the lives lost, but to reaffirm our commitment to ensure that this grief that we are feeling, we are going to convert this into energy and commitment and action to ensure that our young and most vulnerable are protected. And that is what this proclamation is about. It is not merely words on a document. It is intended to mobilize the collective hurt of the nation. To mark the day, Jamaicans were encouraged to participate in the day through devotionals, remembrance services in homes, workplaces, churches, and schools, private or small group prayer vigils, moments of silence, turning on vehicle headlights, wearing black, and tolling church bells at noon.